Hi, this is Mel from uh, Fuck the Facts. Today I'm going to go through the process and what I used to create the artwork for our newest album, Clé Noirceur. So for the cover, I used this uh, white texture I painted kind of a washy white. And the photo that's on the cover is this photo. It's my mom on her wedding day. This is 1976. And you get that 70s vibe in the, in the decor. On this photo, she's looking at herself in the mirror and you only see her face through her reflection and you can see she's happy. It's, it's a really nice photo. On the artwork, I wanted to bring that a little bit darker. So the main difference from the original photo is that she's looking, she's not looking at herself, she's looking just straight into the void. So for the back cover, I uh, wrote the uh, song titles on a piece of paper and I added them to the cover. Um, I really like the vibe that it gave me right away of this chalkboard um, kind of school school chalkboard vibe and then I added the main photo which is my mom once again uh, this was taken in 1958 she was three years old at the time and she's all dressed in white it's got this purity and naive uh, aspect to it that I really enjoy so I added this photo as the center of the back cover. Uh, and once again, I wanted to bring this to a darker, darker tone, darker meaning. So I added a shadow of a man over, which suggests perhaps a threat. For the insert, I uh, wrote the lyrics once again and added them to the artwork. I use a texture that was more dense and more white than the one used for the cover. The photo this time is of my grandmother. Uh, this photo was probably taken in the early 50s and she's all dressed in white, which is a recurring theme in this artwork. You'll notice at the bottom right corner is a, a shadow, most likely a shadow of my grandfather taking the photo. And this is the shadow I used to put on the back cover of the album. On the artwork, I ended up cropping her head out of the frame. It felt in a sense that I was removing her identity by doing so. So for the other side of the insert, I took a photo from this amazing old photo album filled with pictures from the 1920s. Um, we don't know anybody in these pictures. This book was actually found in the attic of a house that Topan's mom bought uh, a while back. So it's a pretty cool, uh, cool photo book. And I found this photo in it. Of course, it's a, it's a complete stranger and she's all dressed in white once again and she's really calm and it just fitted right away with the team I was going for. So over her photo, I layered a picture of Topan's grandfather right here. This is a picture that was taken in the 60s and it's actually Topan's parents' wedding day. Um, they can be seen right in the center. So what I really liked about him on this photo is the austerity and the seriousness that he has on this photo. So I, I added him really uh, slightly over her. And to me, that symbolizes that she doesn't have full control over her life and the decision that she will be able to make. So for the CD booklet, we actually have two pressings of our, uh, our CD for this release and uh, decided to change the image for the second pressing. As you might be able to guess, this is the first pressing and this is the second pressing. The image used for the second pressing is this photo of my mom and her sister, taken in 1958. 
This photo is actually taken at the same time as the photo I used on the uh, back of the artwork. So for page two and three of the city booklet, I use this picture. This is a photo of my grandma, my mom and her sister, taken probably somewhere around 1956 or 1957. And what I really like about this photo is the overall composition. It feels like kind of a classical painting. So for page four and five of the booklet, I used this photo. This was probably taken around 1967. And it's a photo of my mom here and a friend. I actually only used the bottom of the photo, just the legs and the feet. By doing so, it felt like we were witnessing perhaps an ascension. So this sums up my process for creating this artwork. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.